I got my dog from a breeder because I was looking for the perfect dog for our family. But we didn't really understand the breeder route would be associated with so many health issues. Wait, Do you see somebody? In the front door. Our thinking is we wanted a dog with less baggage, if you will. Oh, we have puppy! Less risk of health issues. We weren't going to be spending as much money at the vet. Well, don't let him freeze. Bring him in the house. We were huge pit bull lovers, any type of bully breed. They are the best dogs. They're great with kids. We got it, David! And we were hoping the dog would live a good long life. I'm going to bring him to school tomorrow. When I say I wanted the perfect dog, Oso really lived up to that expectation. Take him all the way to the hard floor. From a personality standpoint, from the way he looked. Oso really is just a big, giant baby. Super snuggly, gentle with my kids. He was essentially perfect in every way. Up until around two years, when we learned he had a genetic heart issue. We had a vet speculate, I mean, I hate to tell you, but I don't foresee your dog living much past six to eight years. And that really broke my heart. I connected with a lot of rescues, did my research on the breed. Our main goal for Oso is helping him live as long as possible, the best quality of life. And to do that, he has already had hip surgery. And then our vet has given us some guidance as far as supplements and diet and things that can help his joints as well as his heart. We keep him active. He likes to tug. Oso takes short, frequent walks. He's definitely not gonna go on a hike with Koa anytime soon. <laughs> Oso is a heavier dog with a shorter muzzle. He's got these stubby little legs with this heavy 80 pound body. 30 pounds of it is probably in his head. He was bred to look that way and it's a really cute look, but it's not a practical look for a dog. Because of the weight of his head, he can't go downstairs without tumbling. No dog's body is meant to carry that kind of weight on little tiny legs have a giant head and barely be able to breathe. That's ultimately what led us to think, okay, we will never buy a dog again. We will only ever rescue. And that's also kind of what led us to NorCal Bully Breed Rescue. This puppy popped up on their page. I showed it to my kids. Something in my 10 year old's heart just said, we need to have this puppy. So she took it upon herself to write a very convincing essay. After years of fun raising, I think it's finally time to rescue a puppy of our own. And it worked. Little baby. You're such a good boy also. Many people think if you want the perfect dog, you have to buy it. And one, the perfect dog doesn't exist. You don't know what the future holds for that dog. And two, I know people who have their dream dog and they came from a shelter. You're the most spoiledest dog I know. What initially turned me off from getting a rescue dog when we were looking and ended up getting Oso from a breeder is the rescues in my immediate area didn't have puppies and they didn't have the breed that we were looking for. But I didn't think at the time to even look outside of our immediate area. It could be in the same state, just a couple hours away and a little bit of a drive, or it could be in another state where you have to fly the puppy to you. But essentially the cost of buying a dog from a breeder is really, really high. For what we bought Oso for, I could have flown to another state and found a puppy that needed a home. There is a crisis going on around the whole country and there are more dogs in shelters than ever. It just doesn't make sense for our family to ever buy a dog again when we know what's happening. One, in the breeding world, what's going on in shelters, and how many different possibilities there are for how you go about getting a dog.